for the average person who doesn't have cancer or doesn't have an injury of any sort, but maybe they have noticed some digestive issues that have been popping up and sticking around, or maybe the fogginess or the lack of low energy, whatever it is. For the average person, um, do you typically, I mean, do you, do you typically recommend them to focus on a blend of enzymes or do you also have them focusing on, because obviously the, the early research on proteolytic, prote, proteolytic uh, enzymes is fascinating and exciting too, right? Yes. Um, but also we know that there's a lot of different kinds of enzymes. Yes. So for the average person, do you recommend them to focus on a blend? Do you recommend them to focus on like supplements that are just purely one type of enzyme, like a combination of those? Or how do you go about that? Most, yeah, most definitely. That's a very good question. So it, it's, it's all about the blend. Okay. When we're taking enzymes for the purpose of digestion, okay, because remember, if you take an enzyme, whether it's a proteolytic enzyme or just a blend of enzymes uh, for digestion, if we take them with food, then the enzyme is going to work on the food. If we take proteolytic enzymes on an empty stomach, there's nothing to digest. So they go and they get absorbed intact through your intestines and they go into the circulation. And in part, there's systemic benefit that way. But it's all about the blend. Okay, so if you're using it for food, you want to have a capsule that has multiple amounts of enzymes. Why? Because on that plate, you're going to have fats, you're going to have carbohydrates. You're going to have proteins. So you need an enzyme that has lipases, carbohydrates, and proteases if you're taking it for food digestion. Okay? If you're taking it for a systemic benefit, then, you know, there's different enzymes on the market, you know, like natal kinase, lumbro kinase, serapeptidase, bromelain. I personally love and I've researched more, most bromelain. Why? Because bromelain is easy to obtain. Bromelain comes from pineapple, okay? Uh, lumbrokinase and serapeptidase, they come from worms, okay? So they're a lot harder to elaborate, okay? They're a lot harder to cr uh, create. Uh, natokinase comes from soy uh, ferments, uh, but a lot of soy in the uh, market is, is, is uh, GMO soy. So, we, you know, to me, bromelain, is a it's a beautiful proteolytic and bromelain is is an umbrella term for a multiple sets of enzymes that are within the bromelain enzyme you know it, it, there's uh glucoamylases uh, for you know sugars there is phosphatases um there are um, proteases so within bromelain you get like a mix of different enzymes that all have anti-inflammatory properties, anti-mucolytic properties, mm -hmm. oncolytic properties, anti-tumorigenic properties. So my favorite is bromelain, okay? Awesome. Because of that, because of its features, okay? Um, you also want to find a reputable company that's going to guarantee that they have no fillers, no artificial flavors, artificial uh, uh, sweeteners or, or, you know, no excipients that they're going to give you a pure enzyme. Okay. Um, um, not because I work there, but the enzyme, we specialize in enzymes and their enzymes are put through quality control at every step. And when we put out an enzyme product, it's, it's, it's high in purity and quality. Um, and it, and it does what it says it does. Um, and we are a company that has done the research. Uh, we have tested our enzymes. We have gastro, uh, gastric stability studies to show mm -hmm. that it does survive through the gastric environment, mm -hmm. it makes it into the intestinal lining to perform what it needs to perform. A lot of enzyme companies don't do that. Mm -hmm. You know, so you could have an enzyme, you know, like for example, uh, uh, animal enzymes. Um, they have a hard time surviving the gastric environment. So they don't have a, a systemic benefit mm -hmm. because they are uh, used up or destroyed within that acidic environment. Our enzymes don't come from animal. Our enzymes come from mycelial enzymes. They come from uh, fungal enzymes, mm -hmm. which 
do survive the yep. acidic environment and they have a broad range of pH, that's also important. If you're going to take an enzyme, a proteolytic enzyme, you want the formula to have a broad pH mm -hmm. so that it can work on a pH of two, which is your acidic environment in, in, in the stomach, to a pH above seven, which is what is going to, uh, is what's going to confront in the circulation, right? Mm -hmm. So when you have that broad range of the enzymes in the formula and you have different enzymes, then you have a formula that's going to work from mouth to anus. Awesome. Which is what you want. Awesome. Yeah. So for the, um, for the average listener, uh, you know, I was looking at your website. Do you, are, is the average listener able to go to your website and purchase uh, enzyme supplements for you? Or is it more of like they come to visit you in the clinic and you give it, you know, prescribe it in that way? Well, right now I am uh, heavily into the research that we uh, that we discussed in the detox and the um, um, the detox and the and the prostate cancer research. Mm -hmm. um, so my clinical practice has has shrunken, um, but you know, through you guys, uh, we can definitely make that happen for all your listeners. Um, awesome. You know, we could set up uh, a way to where you know we could collaborate into getting these enzymes to your listeners, which. I know for a fact, and I've been doing this for a little while now, ladies and gentlemen, I know for a fact these enzymes are life-changing. Yeah, I agree. Yes. Tyler, to your point, I have an account where people can order the enzymes, the transformation enzymes specifically through me. They are not sold at your local grocer or in the, in the stores. Yes, it's transformation a has done a uh, really good job. Of keeping it to the practitioners. Uh, they have kept a very tight rein on Amazon as well. There is only one distributor who is allowed to sell on Amazon and it is at full retail price. Uh, but some people just appreciate the convenience of that. Um, but typically, transformation, you get their products through the practitioner. So the practitioner is able to educate them just like Dr. B has educated us and help guide them on dosage, what to expect. Um, the practitioner is also educated to know if they need to increase the dosage or when to decrease the dosage as well. So they are a very awesome, reputable company. As a matter of fact, and to Dr. B's point earlier, I was head of the QA for a while and making sure that everything was getting tested on a rotation, making sure the activity was up to par to the label and things, and everything was held at the proper temperature and rotated and things of that sort. So I can speak very highly to them. They're yes, great, and that is awesome very important company. because when you take an enzyme, you want to make sure that the activity is still in the capsule. Right. And yeah. You haven't lost it to humidity or to improper right. storage. Uh, mm -hmm. procedures. Um, so that, that's very important. We don't want customers to lose their money in a capsule that's not going to do anything. You know, right. when, we, when they take our capsule, they know they're guaranteed that they're going to have the enzyme activity that we say it has. Right. And that answers that question for those clients that I say, you know, it's important to take an enzyme. Oh, I've tried those in the past. They didn't do a damn thing for me, you know, mm -hmm. and it could be that we didn't get, you know, we didn't get the right enzyme because I've been doing this 20 years and I, I'm a huge proponent of enzymes. Um, we could talk for another three hours and I, I, I would have more questions. I, I, this is kind of my wheelhouse. Um, I teach gut health to most. I start and stop with gut health. It's my thing. There you go. There you go. Um, Congratulations. That, yeah. So we would get along great. but I. I love that we're talking about quality control and the types of enzymes and surviving the gastrointestinal check because so many of my clients say, I've done that. They didn't do a damn thing for me. Quit pushing enzymes in my face. So I love that we brought that to the forefront of this conversation so that we can say not all supplements are created equal, not all yes. enzymes are created equal. So make exactly. sure you do your research. Great if you can work with a practitioner or a health coach. You know, so often I think people get really deflated because they hear these great suggestions because a neighbor had great results or a friend or they read an article and then they try to do it for themselves and they just don't have the right recipe. Yeah, no. yeah you, and you have so, to be behind it and someone's yeah, to do it. Yeah, and, and it's super success. Otherwise, yeah. it's going to be that other story 
that, hey, I tried it and didn't work. For me. Right. And it's so deflating for that person that's had problems for not just months, not just years, but decades. Shannon and I have talked about this. You know, oftentimes you can be born, you can be born with a digestive tract that doesn't have the optimal environment for, you know, complete balance and well-being. And of course, we receive that based on, you know, genetics, based on, you know, the diet of the mother, based on the initial things that the child are eating. And so, so often we have people that feel hopeless because, I've been dealing with this my whole life. Are you going to tell me I was born broken? And the answer is no. But with a few small tweaks, you know, we can balance some things. So I love that we talked about how don't just go get something from your great big mega vitamin store. Take the time to do the research. Reach out to those that know because we want our listeners to be healthy and we want them to know that they're, we want to give them hope. I, I, as you know, Dr. B, people that walk in your door are hopeless. You know, they, it's, it's usually by the time you see them, they've yeah. gone to everybody else yeah. and they've tried that's everything true. else. Yeah. Um, and that's that when, the, yeah, they're like, well, shit, I guess I'll talk to a health coach because yeah. nobody else is helping me. I guess I'll go to one of those chiropractors. You yeah. know, I mean, I'm not belittling because this is where, you know, this is the world I live in, but that's what happens, right? They didn't yeah. come to you because they were like, oh my gosh, I need this. It's because, you know, they've, they've tried all of the traditional things and nothing has worked and they end up at your, I'm sure they, that's why they, you know, they darken your door. That happens so often with me as well. So, um, yeah. I love that we talked about the, the quality and the dosing and the guidance, you know, from from your coaches, from your practitioners. So thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. Most definitely. My pleasure. So, look, if you're listening to this episode and you've identified with some of the things we've talked about, you've noticed some of these signs and symptoms popping up in your life and you're you listen to this episode and you're convinced that, hey, maybe this is something that I want to give a try or maybe this is something I want to give a try again, but, you know, with a more reputable source. Um, first I'll say, you know, listen to your body. You, you know, better than any of us can tell you what is best for you. And if you listen to this and it resonates with you and it's something that you're thinking, Hey, maybe this is what this is for me, then I, I would encourage you to trust that instinct. And as our listeners of our show know that we're in the business of creating conversations, powerful conversations between all of us, not just those of us who are here on this episode talking to each other. This is an invitation to you into a bigger conversation. And you know that when the episode ends, when we click stop record, the conversation continues in our powerful people community Facebook group. That's where you can ask questions. That's where you can request topics. And if you listen to this episode and you are interested in giving this a try and you want to work with a reputable business that goes through a very thorough QA process to make sure that their product is actually effective and does what you need it to do, uh, you can reach out to us anytime in the Powerful People community on Facebook. It's our private Facebook group, free to join. Um, you reach out in that group and all of our coaches are there and we'll be able to help you get connected um, and, and get get this uh, th- this supplement that you need, right? As Shannon mentioned, she's, um, she's affiliated, Dr. B, He's here. He's part of the family now, right? So uh, Thank you very much. <laughs> you're stuck with us now. So, no. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you're listening to this and you're interested, reach out to us in the Powerful People Community Facebook group. We'll be able to help you. We'll be able to at least support you and point, like, help you find the right direction for you. As you know, your instinct is key. Just sometimes it helps to have uh, a little bit of perspective and a little bit of an outside, um, yeah, a little bit of outside perspective to help us see through the weeds of our own health and wellness, right? To see a little more clearly. So Dr. B, thank you so much for being yeah. here today and sharing your knowledge with us and going a little over the allotted time to support the conversation. It's super appreciated. And uh, yeah, we can't wait to- uh, I had a lot of fun. Thank you very much for having me. Thank yeah, you. All right, everybody. Thank you for listening. We are the Holistic Health Front Podcast. Can't wait to talk to you again in the next episode.